Hey guys, welcome back to Eyes No Tomato Draws. Uh, I want to start this off by saying uh, thank you guys very much for all your support on the, the last episode, the, the first one where I drew Noodle. Um, I, 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 I gave off the impression that I, I thought that a lot of people might not like it just because it's so radically different to my other stuff, but you guys actually like seem to quite enjoy it and I, I'm, I'm really play, um, happy about that. A lot of people even um, kind of came out saying, oh, they're, they're, they're also artists and you know, they find the whole process of watching someone else draw really interesting. And uh, people also said that they really like um, listening to the commentary as well. So I'm more than happy to do so. Uh, so anyway, today I am drawing Spectre Knight from Shovel Knight. Uh, well, specifically uh, Spectre of Torment. Um, because, uh, well, uh, the, the Spectre of Torment DLC came out a couple of weeks ago now, I think. And... Um, uh, last week or the week before, I can't even remember now, I, uh, I, I took a week off, so to speak. Uh, even though it was the week after my holidays is when I finally had time to do it, and I'm like, I'm just gonna play uh, Shovel Knight. Because I really, really love Shovel Knight, as you might know, because I, uh, I used Shovel Knight music in my videos recently, and there's probably gonna be some uh, in this one too. Some of the new Spectre of Torment songs, no doubt. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, right now, I'm drawing a hand, and you might think, that hand looks pretty good so far. Well, it's only going to get worse, because I just couldn't get it right, as you can tell. Uh, and it's funny, because in the end, it won't even matter at all. So, <laughs> you'll see. Um, but yeah, so I thought I might talk a little bit more about my process in this video, uh, as well. Um, one of the things that I didn't decide to include in this, I did record it, but it was a bit unnecessary. It was about 20 minutes beforehand of me of drawing and redrawing completely different poses and compositions because, my God, am I so bad at drawing compositions. That is easily the hardest part for me in any drawing, apart from drawing hands, apparently, because I'm just very, I'm very fickle with hands. I just can't get it right. Look at me go. I, I, it's one of those things where I actually think I had it pretty right the first go. And, uh, and I just made it gradually worse and worse. And eventually I just leave it and move on to the rest of the drawing. It's actually a thing that, um, you, you ever see on Facebook, the, um, or, or maybe Twitter, I don't know, artists who, they do this thing where they'll, they'll draw like a superhero or something in pencil, and they'll just draw like the face, like the whole face first, and then move across the body, you know, and like, they get the whole thing done, they never go back to it. I think it's really funny when people do that because uh, as someone who's gone to art school, that is like one of the first things they tell you not to do. Um, you really, really don't want to be bogged down in, uh, in one area um, because then you just start getting really like um, tunnel vision to that area. It doesn't work with the rest of the piece and like you also can lose sight of what you're actually doing like I end up doing with this hand here. Um, but you know, it, it ends up looking fine in the end. Like, like of what happens to it, you'll see later. But, um, yeah, I, and I always find it funny when people do those drawings on Facebook, and they, they're doing it just to, you know, um, have people be impressed with them. And, like, the thing is with those kind of things is, like, I can always guarantee you they're very meticulously planned and practiced and trained and tried and true. Like, they've done it several times beforehand, and they want to guarantee that when they do draw it, it'll look um, real nice. And it does, but like, I don't know. I just can't help but watch those things. But like, they, they, they try and make it look like hyper-realistic. And I, I can't help but think like, you know, in the art school I went to at least, they're like, don't, don't do that. Like, you really should. Like, the idea is you want to work on like the whole piece at once. Like, they constantly encourage you to like, take a stand back and look at the whole thing as a whole and see how it's all working. Like, as you see me constantly doing, I keep zooming out and then zoom back in. It's just so I can get like a grasp of how the entire image is looking rather than just that one part. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to draw Spectre Knight because I really like Spectre Knight and I really love the DLC. Oh my god. Um, after Plague Knight, I actually was like, how the fuck are they going to top the, like, the Plague Knight DLC? Like, Jesus Christ. And then they topped it by like a million times. Like, it, this, like, literally Spectre of Torment is like just a new game. Just straight up. And it's free, as far as I know. Um, I wouldn't re well, the, I'm pretty sure it's free, but the thing is, is like... I actually have three different copies of Shovel Knight. I have one for the PC for when it first came out, one for the 3DS, and now I got one recently for the Switch as well. And uh, I replay the entire game each time. So I played the the base game of Shovel Knight at least three times, played the Shadows twice, and now the Spectre of Torment once. And when they make the King Knight DLC, I'll probably play the whole all of them again again because I I really really do love Shovel Knight. I'm, I'm thinking maybe like it might be a good idea to 
buy it on the channel or maybe aim one day just because it's a, it's a real fun solid experience um, and I, I tell you what fucking like I would almost recommend like getting Shovel Knight just for Spectre of Torment I mean like not to say that uh, Shovel of Hope and um, Plague of Shadows is, is bad but anyway no they're both fantastic but like the fact of the matter is like the Spectre of Torment like, I would buy that as a separate game, you know? It might as well be a sequel, but it's not. It's free DLC, and it's like, oh my fucking god. Yacht Club Games, what are you doing to me, man? <laughs> um, but yeah. So I thought, you know, i got, got to draw them. Uh, I've been playing it last week, and last week, uh, or the week before, when I, when I did the, the noodle drawing, I was playing it at that time, like, I, I, this is my next one. Like, <laughs> I knew what I was going to draw, draw ahead of time. But I do also want to say that in future, definitely, um, if you guys have any suggestions at all, uh, please let me know, and uh, I'll, I'll consider them. I do have like a list of things that I kind of want to draw, and like I like to draw as I feel like it, uh, in the se in the sense of that like I'm really into this right now. I want to draw this character, and then I will, you know. Um, there are a couple characters which I'm like kind of like, it, and then it's like weird because like I, I'm, I'm I'm aiming to do this once a week if I can, um, but the the thing is is that. Uh, you know, when, when, you're, when I'm into something, you know, a week later I might not be as into it anymore. So, yeah, bit iffy, and that's a no. So you, you, know, you never know what's coming, I guess, is all I'm trying to say. But, um, yeah, I, I, had a, I, I always have a really fun time making these videos as well. I know I've only made two so far, but they're, they're a lot of fun. And I really love watching them back in uh, this fast forward speed up mode, because it makes me look a lot better <laughs> than I normally am. It makes me look like that even the mistakes look intentional in a way. Um, yeah, this whole piece took like about three hours, I think, but that's also including all the setup time, or like the, the finding the composition and, uh, you know, the drawing the hand and all that. Like, honestly, like this, th this drawing I'll say is definitely like 90% of it, it feels like at least, was just drawing it and trying to make it look great because, or good at least, because what I'm doing here is a, a technique called foreshortening. It is where, you know, if you put your hand closer to the camera, then it's going to be bigger than anything else, except I'm doing it for the whole body. You can see there a quick break there, and then I cut out the break so you didn't even see it. I don't know why I did that. I think I did it more for just myself, really. Um, yeah, and uh, also, so you might be noticing that I'm not actually using traditional colors for Spectre Knight. I'm actually using the colors from one of his costumes that you can get in the DLC, because I have never had this happen to me. Well, I've had it a couple of times, actually, in recent years, but like... I just fell in love with the color scheme. I can't explain why, but there's just something like I like so much about like the 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 faded or well not faded was it like darkened gold with like the dark brown red coloring. I just oh it looks so good to me. I just oh I can't get over it. Um, and the black as well. There's a lot of black like solid black, which is not something you generally see in many drawings. Uh, but like it, it, I think it works really, really well with Spectre Knight. So that's what I'm. That's what that that uh, that color scheme up in the uh, up left corner of my references on the side there is. Um, that's me uh, uh, working using that color scheme. Sorry if I sound a bit off, by the way. I'm a little bit sick. Uh, that's, that's also partially why uh, this video is a bit later than it would be. Actually, which is one of the other things we wanted to talk about, which was um, in terms of my schedule for this channel. My aim right now, and this is a very loose aim, instead of having like a proper schedule, it's going to be, uh, I want it to be at the beginning of the week, roughly, roughly for all of these, the beginning of the week, I want it to be the Overwatch placement videos, then around the middle will be the, uh, the TF2 videos, and then at the end, it'll be the drawing videos. Now obviously, that's, that's very subject to change on the fly, like for instance, this is coming out on Sunday, it, probably even late Sunday night. Um, just because uh, I try and upload a bit later at night just because I know that my audience is uh, primarily American and uh, as a result um, I know you guys would probably if I was to upload it in the middle uh, if I uploaded it in the middle of the day for me it would be the middle of the night for you so I just try so I like to have, like usually upload stuff as I'm going to bed so it was there for, for uh, you guys in the morning um, so here I was also just working with random colors for the background, thought it might look nice, and then I looked like it looked like sort of like the background of Pride More Keep, which is not actually what I wanted to go for, so I ended up changing it, but I actually do really like that background, maybe we'll use it in a different video. 
Um, this like so you see I'm throwing in like a random like kind of tree background and it just completely covers the, the the hand in the front so you don't even see it in the end so it's like ah oh, well what are you gonna do? Um, but I've got to say it's one of those pieces where uh, you can see like on the clock there I was like approaching like three a, three a.m. or something uh, and I was really tired and a bit off my head and it's one of those things where it really was like I was working on it for you know long enough straight up that I was like. I don't know, and I was just getting so bogged down with some of the pieces on it, I was a bit like, is this even good, you know, like, I'm like looking at it like, eh, is, is this, you know, is this working for me, I don't know, and then it's when you wake up in the morning, take a look at it fresh eyes, you know, it's like, oh yeah, it's a lot better. Also I decided that I should probably put the Tower of Fate in there, just because, just to kind of seal it all up, make it look nice, um, but yeah, that's also a big tip I can give for any uh, aspiring artists out there is to, you know, sometimes if you're working on a piece for too long or like, you know, it's like late or whatever and you, your mind's not quite there, you know, give it a, give it some breathing time. That's something they, they teach you at art school as well. It's like, give you, give you time, your pieces some time to breathe and just, uh, you know, come back at it with fresh eyes and you will be quite surprised um, how, how, how things will look, you, how, how things might, like, it'll come back into perspective for you, but you're looking at it no longer as the creator, but more as the, um, as, a, as, a, as an audience member, and that's the kind of thing you want to look for, but I, I'm pretty happy how it ended off, um, and yeah, so, once again, if you guys have any suggestions for things you might want to see me draw in the future, please uh, let me know, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.